my frog voice, as I like to call it. Something is definitely not right. The royal chambers. <sighs> everyone and welcome or welcome back so today's video is definitely one that wasn't on my ideas list it was kind of an idea that just came out of the blue probably quite an interesting video maybe a little chaotic so it is a cloudy day a little bit of wind sadly and I'm standing in front of the arena where we sometimes train horses and you can see there's a pile of random looking stuff over there so it's not too random there is a tent there a sleeping bag a few things so as you can probably tell, I am camping tonight. So the arena is right by the house. The house is over there, that white roof. So it's very close, but um, my mom still wasn't too keen on the idea, but I got her around. So I'm going to be sleeping here tonight in the arena. And the reason I chose to sleep in the arena is just because it feels a little bit safer than just being out sort of completely in the open. There's no wild animals, predators really around here. There is a caracal, but he won't bother us. The stable is also just right over there, so I'll be by the horses this evening, which is really nice. So before I can just start having fun, I've actually got to set up the tent. So there's a bit of a history with this tent. It was, where well, is my dad's tent. He traveled across the whole of Europe and he basically used it, he slept in it every single night. So it's quite an old tent, it's very small as well, but it still will definitely do the job. And um, yeah, I'm gonna set up myself, which I've actually, I'll be honest, I've never done. My dad's always helped me. So we'll see how that goes. My tarp is all done. So now the only thing left to put on it is the tent, which I can't even find. Um, not good. It's under this pile somewhere. Oh, found it. So yeah, we're gonna put the tent up now. And um, I do have a rain cover and tent pegs in case uh, well, the 10 pegs will just hold me down because it's, it's a bit of wind. So something is definitely not right. It just keeps collapsing. I actually have no idea what how to do this, but I'm going to try again, see if it works. Okay, I was doing it completely wrong, but I figured it out now. Oh my gosh, I was so stupid. I hope no tent experts are watching this. I've just got to put the um, supporting frame for the like front on and then it will be done. I have just been down to have dinner and we have dinner about six. So it's just after now and um, I actually didn't realize how long this was gonna take so the shell is up and I'm just going to put the rain cover on and now the tent pegs. I'm honestly pretty proud of myself for figuring everything out. Here is the royal chambers, <laughs> that sounded weird, the tent. So we've got its rain covers on, it's got all its pegs. So I'll show you how you get in here. At the bottom of the tent is a zip, which um, you just pull all the way up, don't get stuck, there you go. And uh, you in under the rain cover, there's the actual tent. Now for my least favorite part, blowing up the mattress. <sighs> the mattress is in the tent and it looks like it's gonna rain. The clouds don't look good. So I'm gonna get everything in as quickly as possible. It hasn't started to rain, but everything's in the tent anyhow, except for my gumboots, they're outside. My plans for the evening are to get stuck into my new library book and probably watch a few things on my tablet because there's no Wi-Fi here, but I've downloaded a few things. But that's only later when it's dark. For now, I just wanna enjoy the evening while it's still light and listen to all the lovely sounds. This is honestly not too bad. I can hear the frogs going, which means it's definitely evening. Clouds are brooding, but um, I've got my warm cup of tea and my little mini thermos. The tent looks so small on that side, but 
In reality, it's actually, it does feel bigger on the inside. Hello everyone, I'm just filming the last of this before the light completely dies. As you can see, the light is absolutely terrible. Um, I'm just about to get changed into my pyjamas, brush my teeth, all that kind of thing. And then I'm going to head to bed and read my book and then I'm going to go to sleep. Because, yeah, there's nothing much else to do. And um, I have to say, it's really cozy in the tent, it's really nice. And I do definitely feel safe out here. Also, as I said, the house is um, right over there. Why am I pointing over there? Okay, anyway, the house is over there. So I am very, very close. Good night to you all. I will see you in the morning. Good morning, guys. I have just woken up. That's why I have my frog voice, as I like to call it. So I won't lie, I'm a little bit tired, but I actually slept really well in here. Um, nothing happened during the night, I struggled to fall asleep, but after that I slept soundly and I've just woken up, it's about time to have some breakfast and then pack up the tent. First I'm going to get dressed in this tiny space, my head's already touching the roof over here, um, and I, it's, it's freezing this morning. Like actually, I'm still in my onesie sleeping bag and I've got my extra blanket and I'm still cold. So it's definitely cold this morning. I've now got my breakfast, which is some chocolate puffed rice. And I've got this open so I can see outside, but it is so cold. Like I'm not usually up this early because it's holiday, so I sleep in a little bit, but it's very, very cold this morning. So I will see you after breakfast. The sun is just starting to come up over the field, so it'll reach us soon, which will be lovely i'd love some sunlight on myself i've finished breakfast so i'm now gonna pack up everything uh, all of my stuff into my bag sun i can't wait to get out there so what i'm gonna do next is get all my sleeping stuff out of here so my mattress my uh what's it called sleeping bag and all that kind of stuff out so i'm gonna slowly start to empty the tent This is my method for removing 10 pegs. So I get another 10 peg and I put the hook around the 10 peg that's stuck in the ground and I just pull it out. It works. This is where I slept last night. Now empty, everything is gone. All right guys, I've packed everything up. It's all gone. You can see the uh, rain covers just drying over there. And I'm gonna take some stuff down to the house. So that concludes my 24 hours in a tent. And I have to say, it was so much fun. And also lots of fun to film. I'm, I'm a big fan of me time. I enjoy spending time hanging out with myself. So um, that was also a great opportunity to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Bye.